Count back one, two, or three to subtract. We can use counters to help us count back by one, two, or three. Here we have five blue counters. One, two, three, four, five. We have five minus one. We start with counter number five and we go back one and that takes us to four. Five minus one is equal to four. We count back one. We can count back two. We have five counters. Five minus two. We count back two. One, two. And that brings us to three. Five minus two is equal to three. We can count back three. We have five counters. We want to take away three. We count back one, two, three, and that brings us to two. Five minus three is equal to two. We count backward to find the difference because it shows taking away. It shows subtraction. We can use count back to subtract. Seven minus one. We have seven counters. We count back one. And that brings us to six. Seven minus one is equal to six. Here we have a lot of counters. We have 14 counters. We can use these to help us do subtraction facts. Nine minus one. We start at the nine. We find the nine. There it is. And we're going to count back one. Here's the nine. We count back one. It brings us to 8. 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. 8 minus 3. We start at the 8 and count back 3. There's the 8. Let's count back 3. 1, 2, 3. That brings us to 5. 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. 10 minus 3. We start at the 10 and count back 3. Let's find the 10. There it is. Now let's count back 3. 1, 2, 3. That brings us to 7. 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. 7 minus 2. We start at the 7 and count back 2. There's the 7. Now let's count back 2. 1, 2. That brings us to 5. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. 6 minus 3. We start at the 6 and count back 3. Here's the 6. Let's count back 3. 1, 2, 3. That brings us to 3. 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. 9 minus 2. We start at the 9 and count back 2. There's the 9. We count back 2. 1, 2. That brings us to 7. 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. 4 minus 3. We start at the 4 and count back 3. Here's the 4. Let's count back 3. 1, 2, 3. That brings us to 1. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. 12 minus 1. We start at the 12 and count back 1. 12, 1. That brings us to 11. 10 minus 1. We start at the 10 and take away 1. Count back 1. Where's the 10? Here he is. We count back 1. That brings us to 9. 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. 7 minus 2. We start at the 7 and count back 2. Let's find the 7. There it is. Now let's count back 2. 1, 2. That brings us to 5. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. We have a couple more. 6 minus 1. We start at the 6. We count back 1. There's the 6. Let's count back 1. 
1. That brings us to 5. 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. 11 minus 3. We start at the 11 and count back 3. Do you see the 11? There it is. And we want to count back 3. 1, 2, 3. That brings us to 8. 11 minus 3 is equal to 8. We can find the differences in the subtraction facts by using the counters and counting back. In a subtraction problem, the first number is the menu end. Then we have a minus sign, and the next number is called the subtrahend. That's how many we're going to count back. This is an equal sign, for is equal to, and the answer is called the difference. The difference is the number that is the difference between these two numbers. What's the difference between a 7 and a 3? 4. We can count back 1, 2, or 3. We have 8 minus 2. We start with 8, 7, 6. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. 9 minus 3. We start with the 9 and we count back 3. 9, 8, 7, 6. That's also equal to 6. 12 minus 1. 12, 11. 7 minus 1. We start with 7, 6. 8 minus 1, 8, 7. 10 minus 2, 10, 9, 8. Emma has seven cookies. She gives three cookies to Tim. How many cookies does Emma have now? We can write a subtraction sentence for this problem. She has seven cookies, so that's going to be our menu end right here. She gives three cookies to Tim, so that means three cookies are being taken away from what she had. So we're going to minus three. How many cookies does Emma have now? We can count back. Seven, six, five, four. She has four cookies. Tala has ten cupcakes. She gives three to her father, then she gives three to her mother. How many cupcakes does Tala have now? So here we have ten cupcakes. That's how many she had. Then Tala gave three to her father. So we're going to start at 10 and count back three. She had 10, and she gave three to her father. So we're going to count back one, two, three. That means she gave these three to her father, didn't she? Then she gives three to her mother. Now we're at seven, and we can count back three. One, two, three. So these are the three she gave to her mother. How many cupcakes does Tala have now? Four. We landed on four. We can write the subtraction sentences. She had ten cupcakes. She gave three to her father. Then we landed on seven, didn't we? Ten, nine, eight, seven. Now she has seven cupcakes, then she gives three to her mother. 
6, 5, 4. So we start with the 7. We take away the 3 she gave her mother. And now she has 4 cupcakes. Bob subtracts 3 from 12. What is the subtraction sentence he can write? It says Bob subtracts 3. That means he's taking away 3. So that's the minus. He's going to minus 3 from 12. So the 12 is going to be the minuend. We can count back. 12, 11, 10, 9. 12 minus 3 is equal to 9. We can write a subtraction sentence to solve this problem. Dave has nine books on a shelf. He takes two books off of the shelf. How many books are on the shelf? He has nine books on a shelf. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books on a shelf. He takes two books off of the shelf. So if he takes two books off, we could take away the green one and the yellow one. Now he has seven. We can write a subtraction sentence for this. He has nine. We take away 2, and now he has 7. We start with the 9. He takes 2 books off. That means he takes 2 away. And we know that if we take the green and yellow one away, there'll be 7. Dave takes one more book off of the shelf. How many are on the shelf now? Well, he had 7. Because we took the green one and the yellow one away. So this is gone and this is gone. So he has seven. If he takes one more book off the shelf, how many books will be on the shelf? If we take this one away, we're going to have seven minus one. How many books are on the shelf? We're at six. Six books. And it's important to write what is left over here from the word problem. It's books. That's what we were counting. We can write the number that is one less than the minuend. Remember, the minuend is this number minus the subtrahend. And the subtrahend is how many we're going to count back. And it's going to equal the answer, the difference. The difference is the difference between these two numbers. And we can write the number that is one less than the minuend. We're going to write a number that's one less than this first number, 7 minus 1. We can count back by 1, 7, 6. Six minus 1, 1 less than a 6, 6, 5. 10 minus 1, we can count back 1, 10, 9. So we can count back 1, 2, or 3 to help us learn our subtraction facts and answer subtraction facts. Our next lesson is going to be Think Addition to Subtract, Lesson 4.2. We're going to talk about how we can use addition facts to help us subtract. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're having a good day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.